गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द फिफ्थ वीडियो ऑफ द चैप्टर नाजीजम एंड द राइज ऑफ हिटलर एंड सो फार वी डिस्कस्ड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर दैट हाउ हिटलर क्लेम्ड दैट इफ हिज पोलिटिकल पार्टी विल बी इन पावर ही विल सॉल्व ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स सो वेन हिटलर केम टू पावर एंड वेन ही गॉट द चांस टू बिकम डिक्टेटर इन द कंट्री ही स्टार्टेड हिज प्रोग्राम that was known as reconstruction program so let us see what was there in the reconstruction program first of all he appointed a economist whose name was jalmer and he was given the responsibility of economic recovery because we already discussed that how germany was in trouble how economic crisis was there because of the treaty of versailles and thereafter great depression so this was the really critical situation in which hitler came to power and finally he tried to reform the economy of the country he initiated a state funded that was uh, funded by country and it was a program that was started in order to give employment to the youngsters of the of that time and finally the famous autobahn company was launched and volkswagen car company was also launched it in this particular period it was the contribution of that particular economist that led to the progression in this particular period so we need to understand autobahn was a wheel company that gave lot of employment to the local people of germany and after that volkswagen car company was also there it also it also created lot of employment opportunities for its people so this is how volkswagen and autobahn company both came together and it was the result of reconstruction program that was started by hitler in his time so we saw here that hitler started his reconstruction program that gave employment to lot of youngsters of that time and that was really state funded and thereafter hitler pulled out of the league of nations in 1933 because league of nation was formed in order to stop the second world war and hitler was not in the further mood to be a part of this league of nations now we already discussed that rhineland was taken by france so hitler wanted to bring back the dignity that was lost because of treaty of versailles so finally he reoccupied the rhineland in 1986 after that integrated austria and germany in 1938 under one slogan he attacked austria and germany and at, after that it was captured and he raised one slogan one people one empire and one leader so this is how one by one he started capturing the nearby areas he started attacking the nearby areas and one by one he tried to capture all the nearby countries after that he also took sudental land from the czech slovakia so one by one he was moving ahead and he was capturing all the uh, important countries of that time and here he had some unspoken support of england also he was getting hidden support from the england because england was also a country that was at the time ready to be a part of the initiative that was taken by germany and finally the in order to solve the economic crisis the only one solution was driven at the time it was the war and finally only one method was adopted that was to expand the territory so this is how hitler responded in order to gain the resources in order to earn the money and finally he moved with the expansion of territory now in september 1940 germany invaded poland this was the biggest mistake it is considered the biggest mistake of germany when it invaded poland in 1940 because of this only the war started with france and england because already france and england clearly warned that uh, germany should not come and attack the poland but finally it ignored and it attacked and here the usa was not ready to be a part of this war so war instigated from both the sides on one side germany was there and other side france and england was there because finally poland was captured by germany so this instigated the first world war we are after that when japan extended its support to hitler and bombarded pearl harbor the usa entered the war entered the war so over the time hitler started getting the support of other countries also here uh, japan extended its support to hitler finally japan got uh, hitler got the support of uh, japan in order to defeat the other countries and finally here the japan bombarded the pearl harbor that was a naval base of america and this is how usa unintentionally entered the war although it was not ready to be a part of this war but finally he entered the war and we all know that what happened in the second world war so because of the instigation of or because of the capture of the poland the second world war started 
and this war actually ended in 1945 and when the atom bomb was dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan so we can understand easily that uh, the second world war started second world war started with the instigation of or with the initiative of Germany only Germany was the country that actually initiated the second world war and it was in fact the planning of Hitler to create havoc all over the continent so this is all about in this video thank you so much